Chapter 6 Fusion Splicing Fusion splicing is the act of arc welding two separate fibers into one continuous path. Installed outside plant cables, splice on connectors, or pigtails all must be fusion spliced. The splice has negligible reflection, low loss, and is strong. These splices with protection sleeves are commonly placed into a tray that is inserted into a protected housing or closure. A one-minute video talking about the lower cost of splicers will first be shown before we delve into splicing particulars. In the 1980s, the cost to purchase a fiber optic fusion splicer was approximately five times greater than today's prices. The basic difference is today's splicers provide better performance and are easier to use. How has this impacted the application of fusion splicers in actual applications? It is now affordable for the contractor to inventory multiple units, minimizing downtime. Reduces cost of rentals when the occasional use doesn't justify a purchase. Enables higher connector performance and lower connector installation prices of field installable splice-on pigtails or splice-on connectors. Increased bandwidth performance by ensuring low reflective fusion splices are used as repair procedure throughout the network. Fiber optic manufacturers increase production efficiency with multiple splicers at floor locations. It is now on to fusion splicing particulars, which will be shown in the most popular FIS video to date. This 7-minute video has been viewed over 314,000 times on YouTube. We will detail making a single fiber and a ribbon fiber fusion splice. We start with the important arc calibration using an AFL-70S splicer. See our FIS website providing videos using the CA3, AC5, Fitel S179, AFL-70, and Sumitomo Type Q102 fusion splicers. The most current model of AFL core alignment splicer is the 90S. It replaces the 70S. In this video, you will see single fiber fusion splicing and ribbon fusion splicing on the AFL 70S and 70R splicing machines. Here are the items to perform a single fusion splice. AFL 70S splicing machine, CT30 cleaver, fiber stripper, cleaning solution and wipes, and FIS splice sleeves. When first turning your fusion splicer on to begin a splicing session, you must remember to perform an arc calibration. The arc calibration will account for altitude, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure, depending upon your location, and will set the machine to the correct power for arcing. Set the machine to the arc calibration through the menus as shown. You must use single mode fiber for arc calibration, even if you are splicing multi-mode fiber. Strip, clean, and cleave your fiber. load into the machine. The first arc calibration failed and must be reset. Repeat the process for fiber preparation. Once you have an acceptable calibration, you can begin splicing. After the arc calibration is accepted, set the fusion splicer to the correct splice mode for the fiber type you are splicing. The AFL 70S and 70R machines has several built-in splice recipes for many fiber types. 
In this video, the machine is set to the auto single mode multi mode setting, and we will be splicing single mode fiber. Next, set the Fusion Splicer's heater to the correct heater mode for the type of heat shrink you are using. The AFL 70S and 70R machines have different heater settings for the different size shrink tubes. In this video, we will set the machine to the 60 mm sleeve for the size we are using. First, take the splice sleeve and slide over one of the ends of fiber you are splicing to. Prepare both ends of the fiber by stripping, cleaning, cleaving, and placing into the machine. Once the second fiber is loaded, the machine doors will close and the splicing action will begin. Once the splice is complete, the machine will perform a pull test to ensure splice integrity. Lift the fiber from the machine by keeping slight tension on the splice as you are lifting. Slide the splice sleeve over the splice and place inside the machine's oven. The heating cycle will take about 30 to 40 seconds depending on the size sleeve you are using. Remove the splice and allow for it to cool before handling. You have now completed a single fiber fusion splice. Here are the separate items to perform a ribbon fusion splice. 70R fusion splicer, hot jacket stripper and 12 fiber ribbon holders, ribbon splice sleeves. Begin by sliding the ribbon fusion splice sleeve on one end of the ribbon fiber you are splicing together. Take the 12 fiber ribbon holder and place the ribbon fiber in the holder with about an inch and a half extending past as shown. Take the hot jacket stripper and place the ribbon holder as shown and once the light turns green the unit is hot enough for stripping. Close the unit, pull back on the slide and the ribbon matrix will be stripped off. Remove the excess ribbon matrix from the hot jacket stripper. Clean the fibers with cleaning wipe and solution and set the fiber holder into the cleaver and cleave the fibers. Place the holder into the splicer and repeat the process for the second 12 fiber ribbon. When the second fiber is loaded in the machine, the doors will automatically shut and the splicing action will begin. When the splice is complete, lift the ribbon fiber from the machine by keeping slight tension on the splice as you are lifting. Slide the splice sleeve over the splice and place inside the machine's oven. The heating cycle will take about 30 to 40 seconds depending on the size of the sleeve you are using. Remove the splice and allow for it to cool before handling. You have now completed a ribbon fiber fusion splice. Back to art calibration. Our second most viewed one and a half minute video is used to refresh the technician on this critical splicing step. This function should always be performed in the field before any actual fusion splicing is done. When first turning your fusion splicer on to begin a splicing session, you must remember to perform an arc calibration. The arc calibration will account for altitude, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure, and will set the machine to the correct power for arcing, depending upon your location. You must use single mode fiber for arc calibration, even if you are splicing multi-mode fiber. Set the machine to the arc calibration through the menus as shown. Strip, clean, and cleave your fiber and load into the machine.
Once you have an acceptable calibration, you can begin splicing. There are three different kinds of single fiber splicers. Core alignment, which uses cameras to align the fiber's cores using two-axis movement. This method yields the lowest average losses per fusion splice. Active V-groove alignment. This splicer uses the same axial movement as the core alignment splicer, but aligns the claddings of the fibers. The least expensive option is the V-groove splicer that aligns the fibers as they passively sit in a V-shaped groove. The FIS AC5 is an active cladding V-groove splicer. As the splicer is used, the V-grooves can become filled with contaminants and must be cleaned to avoid fiber misalignment and splicing errors. John Bruno asked for a minute and a half to demonstrate. Hi again, John Bruno, Fiber Instrument Sales at in FIS University. Hey, I want to give you guys a quick little tech tip. Real easy to do, but this could save you plenty of time in the field. You're going to notice that a lot of our splicer manufacturers will include a small little brush, and a lot of you have probably ignored this. Anytime we use a splicer, whether it be core alignment, cladding, or active clad, sometimes we get issues of alignments of the fibers, and I've seen people get very frustrated at this. One of the easiest things we can do when we're getting that core alignment error and the, fi and the fibers aren't aligning right in the splicer, the easiest thing we can do is clean the V-grooves. Obviously, it can be very frustrating when our fibers won't align, align in our splicer. I've seen many a time when a technician or a splicer will pull that fiber out, put it back in again, still won't align, gets very frustrating. This brush is provided by many of the splicing companies, and we can sell these to you separately if you don't have one. Give us this brush, and these bristles are very stiff, and we can clean out our V-grooves. It's sometimes as easy as cleaning that V-groove, and the next thing you know, that fiber will align perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. There are more free training videos. Go to the playlist by clicking the top right.